Welcome to the presentation on using the MTRAP D probes SNMP V3 min security level. As well as the mttrapd.conf file, the mttrap D probe uses the following properties to restrict traps. Protocol SNMP V3 only, SNMP V3 min security level. In the debug log file, the events details are logged. Protocol TCP, SNMP underscore version 3, security level. Auth priv. For any given trap source, the probe can restrict the security of the traps being received. For a given mttrapd comp file entry, the probe can restrict traps further using snmpv3 only, snmpv3 min security level. For example, if only snmpv3 traps are required, set snmpv3 only to 1. However, this setting allows traps to be received that have no user or password set. To allow only snmpv3 traps with the correct user and password, set the snmpv3 min security level property to 3. With this setting, only off-priv traps will be processed by the probe all other traps will be discarded. In this table the way in which valid SNMP v3 traps are discarded is depicted when the SNMP v3 min security level property is increased. When traps are dropped because of the SNMP v3 min security level property the SNMP v3 security level message is logged at message level debug. SNMP v3 TCP traps are recommended since TCP traps require confirmed delivery. If a TCP trap is dropped or not delivered, there will be a log message, either at the source system or in the probe's log file. Always define the minimum required security using the properties, even if only SNMP v3 traps are to be processed. This will prevent unwanted processing of other traps and reduce the risk of denial of service attacks.